to all of those who might be listening to our program today. Uh huh. Amen. Our program is going out over the airways, the internet. Amen. Uh, MySpace. Amen. I thank God for all of you who might be listening. Amen. This is Faith Gospel Church here in Tacoma, Washington. Uh huh. I said where everybody is. Somebody. Amen. I'd like for you to stand for the reading of God's holy word. Amen. Amen. In the book of Revelation, Amen. the third chapter. Amen. Beginning with the first verse. <coughs> Once again, the book of Revelation. The third chapter. And beginning with the fifth, first verse. And it reads, And unto the angels of the church in Sardis write, These things said he that had the seven spirits of God, mm -hmm. and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou had a name that thou livest and art dead. Mm. Amen. May God add a blessing to the hearers and doers of the holy word. Mm. Amen. And this from one verse we like to use for a thought today, and that is spiritual. Autopsy. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'd like everyone to repeat that. Spiritual. Spiritual. Come on, everybody's already got cold. Spiritual. Spiritual. Autopsy. Autopsy. Amen. I know this might not be one of your favorite subjects today. A topic. Amen. But the Lord sent me by today, stopped by to tell you about a spiritual autopsy. Uh-huh. Amen. In verse 1, we see that the Lord has spoken to the church of Sardis. Mm-hmm. Amen. Sardis was one of the seven churches. Amen. And, and do anybody know what an autopsy is? Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't know if anyone been in the room where they perform autopsy. Uh huh. Amen. Uh, you might have seen it on television where they, oh, first of all, they have to open you up. Uh huh. Cut you open and and and, and look into your innards and do an inspection and of your body in the inner and see what the cause of death was. Uh huh. Okay. Isn't that right? Uh huh. Right. Amen. First, they have to what open you up. That's right. Isn't that right? Uh huh. Amen, amen, and I stopped by to tell you that it's a lot, it, you know, you never know what went on and then you open up to see what happened, isn't that right? That's right. Amen, he's looking, he's dead, but we don't know, and I stopped by to tell you there's a lot of folks uh -huh. that are walking, physically walking, but they're dead. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen. Yeah. Isn't that right? That's right. If you don't have the Spirit of God within you, uh -huh. you're just a walking dead corpse. Isn't that right? That's all right. If you are doing everything that the world says that is right and, and drinking and partying and doing all that, you are dead, mm. according to the scriptures. I didn't say it. Everybody always blame me, but I didn't say it. He said, well, Amen. Yeah. For the for for the wages of sin is what? Yeah. Yeah. What 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 is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's death. Ain't that right? But the gift of God is what? Eternal life. Well, man, everybody hold on to that eternal life. I'd rather have eternal life. Uh huh. Amen. 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 And something something good that's going on me is going to uh, last after this. Oh, be what life is old. Isn't that right? Uh huh. Eternal life. See, when you have the Spirit of the Almighty God Amen. living within you, the taking of residence, you have eternal life. Well, and God left a condition for us that we all can be saved. He said, if 
you do wrong, if you go wrong, just ask God for forgiveness of your sin. Man. And he's just as faithful to forgive you of your sin. Uh-huh. Am I right about it? Man. God wishes that no man should perish. Uh-huh. We wish everybody be God, isn't that right? Man. Ain't God good? Out of all of all of us sitting here right now that assemble here know that there's some times in our life that we wasn't right. Well that we didn't do everything that was pleasing in the eyesight of Almighty God. My Lord, my Lord. But thank goodness that through his word we took him as for as his word. Yes, sir, yes, sir. He said if you ask for forgiveness, he will forgive you. Man. In the scripture, somebody said, well, how many times God forgive you? Seven times? Hey, hey, man, so many times, isn't that right? Uh-huh. Amen. Do something wrong right in the neighborhood to see how many times somebody going to forgive you. All right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I myself, I'm one, I ask folks, I'm just crazy. I please forgive me. Mm -hmm. Everybody look at me like, what is he saying? Amen. Because I know I can go wrong. Uh-huh. We just got to confess when we're wrong. Isn't that right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We got to confess our fault to one another. Done wrong to tell somebody done somebody wrong. Just say sorry. Isn't that right? Man. Please forgive me. God is like that. He will give you another chance. Yes, he will. Can somebody say glory? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Amen. But we see here that sorrow, sorrow with dead. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I, I like to put a handle on those sorrows. Is that all right with y'all today? Amen. Right. Amen. God spoke to Saudi Baptist Church. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is that all right? Make it a little more, a little more comfortable for us. Ain't that all right? All right. Amen. Amen. That was, it was it one of the seven what? Church. Churches. Churches. So we're going to say uh, Saudi, we just say Baptist Church. All right. All right. Is that all right, church? All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Saudi. As the scripture says, we're living in name. Isn't that right? Mm. A lot of us have names. We call ourselves, oh, I'm a child of God. Mm. I'm a Christian. I'm a Baptist. I'm a Methodist. They were living in name, but dead in reality. Hallelujah. It's called upon by the Lord to be watchful. Uh huh. All right. To be watchful. And you know, when you doing something so bad, when the Lord started really watching you, it's time to straighten up, isn't that right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Some of us have children, you know, a lot of time, I know when my children were doing something, I just go, and they sit down. Mm -hmm. Huh? Amen. Amen. They, 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 they were, they, the Lord was watching them. Uh-huh. To repent and strengthen the things that remain and be ready to die. Amen. Well. Repent. First, you got to do what? Repent. Uh huh. Right? Yes, Lord of sorrow, please forgive. Well, because they've gone wrong to draw first to draw his attention unto you. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And and, and and get ready to die. Go ahead now. If you keep on doing what you're doing, God gonna cut you off. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen. 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 There's no other way. If you keep living in your sin. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. They are warned that if they fail, the Lord will come up on them as a thief. Mm -hmm. And they shall know not the hour of his coming. Uh huh. This church at Sardis, Sardis First Baptist, had visible signs of property. Mm -hmm. What met the eye could be interpreted as such fashion as to call forth words of praise. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Uh-huh. Amen. So the, the 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 simple thing is to do if you know you're going wrong and if God and, and there's certain signs that you sin, amen. Amen. 
Some people say, well, I don't know why this is going on. You keep living in your sin and this is going on and then the Lord is throwing all these things. He's trying to wake you up. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He's trying to tell you, he said, look around, my brother. You're headed toward a crack. Uh -huh. You better turn around and wake up and drive straight up and drive right. Isn't that right? Uh -huh. You're going to kill up and everybody else. Huh? Amen. Amen. And then start when you wake up, I give it look back and say, Lord, I thank you. Well, thank you for being so good. Yes, sir. Sometimes, sometimes we ought to look back and say, Good God Almighty, God been so good. Yes, Amen. 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 And some folks come out. I don't like that sign. Pat run all the time. I could have been dead. Well, hey, sorry about that. Yeah. If it wasn't for the grace of God, you would have been out of here. Uh-huh. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, I don't know if I could have, but only God knows. Uh huh. So I'm what? Going to give him the praise. Well. I'm going to praise him right now. Go ahead. While I have a chance. I'm going to go while I have strength in my body. Uh huh. And while I have legs to walk. Uh -huh. While I have a mouth to talk, I'm going to praise him. Thank you. David said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Man. Uh -huh. Isn't that right? Uh -huh. Isn't that what he said? That's what the word said. That's what the word said. Amen. We're going to be talking about something. I don't want to be talking about pastor. I'm going to be talking about what the word said. Amen. 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 But the one who looked beyond appearance mm -hmm. to the heart found something very different. Mm. It was as if he heard the rattle of dead men bomb. Mm. Yes, they thought that you can be dead without knowing it. Mm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You can be dead without knowing it. Uh-huh. And that's terrible enough. Isn't that right? Yes, this is what the church at Saudius Baptist Church had. Mm -hmm. They had to learn. This church represented the possibility of a man being dead while he still lived. Uh -huh. Saudius, a lifeless corpse. Mm -hmm. Many of us, many of the present day churches are in the same condition uh -huh. as Saul. Go ahead, Pastor. Can I get a witness, somebody? Uh huh. Nothing more than you see a corpse. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Some churches you you go into that dead. Uh huh. Isn't that right? I heard somebody said, uh, anything dead is ought to be buried. Uh huh. Amen. You go into some folk church and they go cold. You can skate up and down the aisle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. I heard one tell me, he said, oh, come on over to our church, Pastor. You see, we don't we don't make a lot of noise and do all of that. We don't do all of that over there. You know, I, and I told him I said, well, you need to take the book of, of, of Psalms and, 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 and tear it out of your book. Uh -huh. Because David said, let everything that has breath praise you Lord. Well, praise him on the, on the sounding cymbal. Well, the string instrument. Uh -huh. Isn't that right? And then it talks about David. He danced and he praised the Lord. Just dance. Isn't that right? Ain't nothing wrong with dancing in the spirit. Uh -huh. We just got to let the spirit of the Lord use us. Hey right. man, I thought you need to take Psalm and tear it out of your book. Amen. Amen. Spiritual autopsy. Mm -hmm. We all know a corpse never makes its own decision. Mm. And another always makes the plan. Isn't that right? right. Somebody is always making the plan. They, they decided when and where the funeral will be. Uh-huh. The singing, who, who choir is going to sing? Say it, Pastor. Who, who going to officiate uh, the funeral, isn't that right? Uh-huh. Who going who gonna to do the preaching? <laughs> who going to be 
Oh yeah, the fall barrel. Uh huh. And not only that, where is the place the burial will be? Uh huh. Somebody might say it might just be Mountain View. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh, because the court is unable to decide for itself. Mm. Well, 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 well. The people, the people of, of Saudi are described as being dead in their faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. For their work are far from perfect. They're warned, you see, to wake up. Mm -hmm. Isn't God good? Uh huh. Amen. When I say it today, they're warned. Amen. Amen. He didn't cut them off. He always sent a warning before the struggle. Isn't that right? Uh huh. Well, well, well. To heed to the instruction they had previously received and to repent. Uh huh. If they do not. Awake Christ will come unexpected like a thief to punish them. Mm -hmm. You see, you see, the church at Saudi had a good reputation. Uh-huh. Have I got a witness? Rather than a good character. Mm -hmm. They had an appearance of being a Christian. Uh-huh. Go ahead, Pastor. Isn't that right? That's all right. Oh yeah, but they were suffering from the process of inner decay. Mm. Uh -huh. Have a right about it. Uh -huh. You see some folk come to church to act so, so bright and holy. Go ahead now. Hey, no, hallelujah. Hey, Amen. Some people are acting. As a matter of fact, I was talking to the men the other day. I said, you need the anointing on the inside. Is that right? That's right. Everybody that sound religious, according to the scripture, are not religious. Go ahead, Pastor. Is that what the scripture say? Now, 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 come on now, y'all hear me out. Can I get an amen sometime? Amen. Is that what the scripture say? Amen. All that that sound holy is not holy. Go ahead now. Some people are like a dead corpse, walking dead corpse. Think that they got it, but don't have it. That's right, Pastor. Amen. But I like for the anointing to be on me. Uh-huh. Amen. Amen. It's good when you when you can praise God with the anointing. That's right. Of the Holy Spirit. Uh-huh. Ain't that all right, church? See, when you come in, you can forget about everything that, that besets you and get it out of your mind and say, I come to praise the Lord today. Amen. When I leave, I leave refreshed, renewed. Uh huh. Ain't that all right? That's all right. I know that I'm not all what, what God wants me to be. Well, but I got to get my battery charged for past. Yeah. Uh huh. Let's yeah. plug in. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't God all right? All the time. You see, the church that sort of had a good reputation, as I said. These words are sharp, you see, cutting edge. Mm. You seem, you seems to be alive. Mm. Actually, you're dead. Go ahead, Pastor. It is a sad affair when the church of the living God reaches a place when she can no longer make her own plans for serving God. Well, well, can I get a witness from that? Uh-huh. Right. To many today, a lawyer, loyalty to organization instead of God. Amen. Can I get a witness from that? Right. Yes. Royal to our clubs, our private little fans, isn't that right? But when it comes to the house, of serving God. Go ahead, Pastor. Everybody go bagging out, isn't that right? Uh-huh. Huh? Well. Amen. Amen. I couldn't just good I I I I slept a little late this morning because I hadn't been sleeping all week, but on Sunday morning my wife said, Where are you going? I said, I'm getting ready to go to church. Uh-huh. <coughs> well. Amen. Amen. Many today are loyalty, as I said, to organization instead of God. Church membership and baptism have replaced the new birth in the minds of our average church members. All right. All right. Amen. Man, I heard somebody say, well, you know, I've been baptized. My mom and dad baptized me when I was a little baby boy. Well, 
Amen. But now he's gotten grown. He's not going to church. And he goes to church. Why did you talk to that boy and get that boy? Well, he makes up his own mind. Uh huh. He grown. He does his own thing. Isn't that right? Then why didn't you decide that when he was born before you All baptized? Right. They have no recollection of baptism. You did. Go ahead. Pastor. You made. See, we let other folks making our decisions for us. Isn't that right? Yeah. We got to make our own decisions. Just as well as, amen, when, when you decide at the point to baptize, you should have said, wait, now I'm going to let him make that decision. Uh-huh. Amen, because everybody has a choice. Isn't that right? Well. Amen. Praise the Lord. The vast majority has agreed, you see, with the world. Mm-hmm. So that's the problem, isn't that right? That's right. Everybody said, no, that's right, but not not, not so. With God, mm -hmm. if you're wrong, you're just wrong. That's right. Oh, yeah, they agree with the world, which you're saying, come in and be ye sociable. Mm. Mm -hmm. But God has said, go ahead, come ye out and be ye separated. Uh huh. Isn't that right? That's right. Amen. We want to do everything that the world says good and acceptable. Mm -hmm. Amen. But God said what? Be you separated. Yes, sir. Either you in the world uh -huh. or you with the law. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. amen. I know it comes time that, amen, that we can have some sociable fun, but we got people out there every Friday night at the hop. Go ahead now. <laughs> hey, they just hopping from one joint to another. Isn't that right? <laughs> Amen. Of course, it's always recognized by its appearance. Uh huh. Of course, it's always very quiet. Mm hmm. And those who are simple in it, present, are always expected to act accordingly. Mm -hmm. It is always dignified in appearance. All right. Dressed in the latest, oh yeah, lying in the most expensive casket. Mm. with a beautiful background of fresh blooming flowers. Even though the corpse is the center of attraction, All right. it makes no contribution to the service held in his arm. Mm -hmm. our, our churches have everything. All right, now. Programs. We have plans, methods, beautiful arranged buildings. Mm -hmm. Modern facilities, isn't that right? Uh huh. Hey Amen. You meet people that ask me to pastor. How many members you have at your church? Then we just got a few. Well, we got over five thousand. Uh huh. Hey Amen. They don't want to be bothered with you when you go in that church. That they got have ATM machines. All right, come on, pastor. Isn't that right? <laughs> a lot of people like going to larger churches so they can hide out. Uh huh. <laughs> Red man, if I give 10 cents, nobody knows about what I'm doing. Uh-huh. Isn't that right? Go ahead. Amen. Hide it, Blake. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen. Preacher preached all day about money. Amen. How he wants you to give your money, your tithe. Isn't that right? All right. Instead of the word of God. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. Somebody's not going to like me after today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> These are very wonderful, but there is something missing, my brothers and sisters. Huh? There is no light, no power for progress, and no moving of the Holy Spirit to give life. Oh, Corpse is always spoken of. Uh huh. Oh yeah. No one would dare say anything critical of a corpse. Only soft words are spoken. Well, Isn't that right? Amen. Dead churches and dead members never educate Satan. <laughs> when you do not condemn sin. Mm -hmm. All right, Can I get a win? Well. Amen. You always, you see, will be well spoken of. Uh. Isn't that right? Uh-huh. Amen. Folks like going to church with white pastor. Don't tell them about the sin. Uh-huh. Isn't that right? Go ahead, pastor. Speak the smooth thing, pastor. Don't talk about a dog, pastor. Uh-huh. You're making me mad. Well. Huh? Well. Don't talk about me drinking my whiskey. Now, you mad at me, pastor. Come on, pastor. Huh? 
Most churches, the pastor got two or three babies by the members in the church. Well, amen. 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 So you can't preach on sin if you're part of the stumbling block. Uh huh. You can't preach with the anointing if the pastor's dead. You can't preach oh, with the anointing. Go ahead now. Amen. 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 People not gonna like that today. Praise God. Go ahead, pastor. Spiritual autopsy. Uh huh. Well, more people attend funerals than any other church service. Isn't that right? Uh huh. Yes, sir. Hey, Amen. You know, my mother used to tell me my father passed a church in Louisville, Kentucky, and she used to just tell me stories after stories of funerals they used to have at the church. Said so he got one group of people get over every every funeral and just oh and cry. They don't even family looking over going like who are these folks? Mm -hmm. Just want to act. Isn't that right? Uh huh. Crying and just acting a fool. Go ahead now. Amen. Amen. Most people say that they are paying their last respect. Mm -hmm. They come without the conviction of sin committed. Uh huh. They leave the service with their sin confessed and unspoken. Mm -hmm. The preacher always preaches, you see, nice sermons. Go ahead. There is nothing positive about his preaching. Mm. There is nothing to stir the emotion or to stir the will. Mm -hmm. well. You see, he doesn't talk oh yeah, about hell. Uh -huh. The new birth, repenting, and judgment will stir the hearts of those that will hear. Uh -huh. The sinning is always soft and slow. And smooth. Mm. Can I get a witness? Well, amen. But I thought by to tell you, my sisters and brothers, time, time is winding up. Take your time, Pastor. Take your time. Oh, yeah, it is high time that we all straighten up. Well, and get right with God. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, one of these, one of these old days. Mm -hmm. And it won't be long. Mm -hmm. Lord want to stop by my house. Uh -huh. And he's going to stop by your house. Go ahead, Pastor. Oh, yeah. And when he knocks upon my door, uh -huh. I want to open the door and say, come on in. All right. Oh, yeah. I've got my suitcase packed. Uh -huh. And I'm ready to go. Ahead, the God Almighty, all of us are uh, sitting in here today. Uh -huh. Good God Almighty, don't need to get comfortable. Uh, good God Almighty, in this old house, well, every day, go ahead, you ought to be packing up uh, and getting ready to go. Uh -huh. uh, when he calls my name, uh -huh. good God Almighty, uh, I'm going to be ready to go on with it. Uh, Ain't God all right? If we call your name tomorrow, uh, don't be like old Saulius. Uh, good God Almighty, good, and step up with a smile and, and say, Lord, here I am. Good God Almighty, I'm ready to go home now. Good God Almighty, but when He open up my body, good God Almighty, and she was on the inside. After this old fever, life is over. When he cut old running open to take a spiritual autopsy, uh -huh. the God Almighty of my body, Go ahead, and he you. opened up your body. When this old fever, life is over, uh, he's going to see something in there new. Uh, the God Almighty, uh, when you do an autopsy, church, uh, a few days after the autopsy, the body began to decay and stink uh, and rot away. Mm, but when he opened up your body, mm, good God Almighty, see something brand new. Uh, say, look at here. Uh, that boy still got some joy. Good God Almighty, uh, he still got some love. Uh, good God Almighty, he still, oh yeah, got everything new I gave him. Uh, this old body uh, will never die. Uh, good God Almighty, so hold on. Uh, the gods are changing, Hannah. Ain't he all right? 
night I left the Lord But one day he heard my feeble cry He came on down to see about little old me Well, one of these old days Hey, one of these old mornings Good God Almighty gonna leave here Good God Almighty, are you ready to go? Do you have your ticket stamp for the glory land? I'm reminded of my Lord and your Savior. Good God Almighty, he decided to...